Hello and welcome to Foodie in Provence. I'm Hannah and I'm here to help you how to live a healthier and happier life. Today I'm going to share seven strategies how to raise super healthy kids. Now many of you know that I have four kids and although they are not healthy all the time, but at least with these seven strategies I ensure that they don't catch every cough and cold that's circulating around. Now, every parent knows that raising happy kids is the most important job in the world. Why is it then that uh, one in six uh, children is overweight or obese, which puts them uh, to risk of having diabetes, heart disease or cancer? We should really uh, treat our kids and feed our kids the healthiest uh, diet possible, ensure that they uh, grow up in the healthiest environment possible so they can reach their full potential. So strategy number one, raising super healthy kids starts already in the pregnancy. Of course, in the pregnancy you should eat uh, the healthiest diet possible and ensure your environment is the healthiest possible. Now, of course, if you are um, scheduled for a caesarean, uh, your child unfortunately will not have the same immune system as it is with uh, babies born by vaginal uh, delivery. Because there is mounting evidence that caesarean bo born babies don't have the same microbiome as kids born by vaginal birth. So if you are scheduled for caesarean section, ask your doctor if he can uh, do so-called vaginal swabbing. So doctor takes a sterile cotton swab and he just uh, pass it uh, on the ma mother's vagina, vagina and then pass it on baby's mouth and nose. Um, so that's, that is a way how he can ensure that uh, this beneficial bacteria uh, are put into baby's mouth. Strategy number two, breastfeeding. Now I'm sure you know that no formula equals uh, mother's milk and on my webpage in Food in Provence uh, there is a link with comparison between uh, breast milk and formula. So breastfeeding is the most important thing uh, you can do for your child. Uh, consult a lactation consultant even during pregnancy to ensure a smooth start of breastfeeding. And the fact is that many, many lives could be saved if mothers would breastfeed their children. Also, don't give anything else during the first six months of the baby's uh, life because breastfeeding uh, there is enough nutrition uh, for the child during the first six months. Which uh, takes me to the strategy number three after uh, pregnancy and breastfeeding, feeding your child the best diet possible. It means uh, eating real food, uh, lots of veggies and fruit. Um, also, if you are veget vegetarian, ensure that uh, the B uh, uh, levels of uh, B vitamins are okay in your child. So uh, eat the healthiest diet possible together with your child because of course you wouldn't uh, put a bad fuel into your car so why are we feeding our kids uh, junk food and uh, too, too much added sugar and so on. So strategy number three should be feeding your child the best diet possible with real foods, uh, many fruits and veggies and um, no added sugar or at the, the lowest amount of sugar possible. Strategy number four, let kids play outside and let them get dirty. Microorganisms which are in healthy soils are very important for the growth of our children and also for many many years we've been afraid of exposing ourselves 
to the sun because of skin cancer. But let me tell you that 70% of people in the whole world are deficient in D3. Um, so you should you should let your kids play outside and please don't letter them with um, toxic sunscreens. Sunscreens, conventional sunscreens contain uh, many harmful chemicals which we really don't want to uh, put on our kids' skin as skin is our biggest organ and it absorbs or chemical, uh, all chemicals and, and toxins which are in the products. So remember a hat and a long sleeved shirt is the best sun protection there is. The next strategy should be please don't over medicate your kids. It doesn't mean that if the fever is too high uh, you should give them over the counter medication or Tylenol uh, because fever is uh, body's natural response uh, to, to some toxins and we shouldn't uh, do everything we can to uh, get the fever down. Also, uh, antibiotic resistance is on the rise, so please go to your doctor if you suspect bacterial infection and make sure it's not a viral infection because antibiotics are absolutely not, it shouldn't be used for viral infection because now we deal with um, uh, many antibiotic resistance so antibiotics really should be used only in life-threatening and really serious uh, situation and the last strategy should be give your kids the environment for a good sleep good sleep is not only important for us adults but it is crucial for kids um, Kids should get, according to, the, to their age, uh, at least nine hours of sleep. And unfortunately, many kids are now dealing with lack of sleep because they're uh, not enough outside or they have too much of screen time. So please ensure that your kids uh, have a really good night's sleep. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the information you learned in today's video. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!